telling you, these drivers are pissed off with Dara. I'm not going to mention the driver's name. He is one of my subscribers. He's absolutely awesome. Listen to this sound bite. You've got to love it. I got a semester for them. Especially for Uber and Daryl Carl Sutter. Tell him to go fuck yourself, you weak, small, little motherfucker. That's why you got to have body, that's why you got to have body calls around him. That's why you got to have body calls. Fuck that pussy. Fuck Dora because he owned our Uber. That's it, boy. You see, these guys are pissed. And here, another one. It's, just, it's never ending. This, I'm telling you, the energy is out there, right? This guy has a $2 million security entourage. You've got to ask yourself why, because they're watching his ass every step he goes. This lady, please stop asking me to drive for you, Uber. I shall not. Never. <laughs> the anger is off the charts, my friends. That's the, see, this is what happens when it builds up and builds up. People get pissed, right? Uber, I won't drive for you no matter how many times you ask. And you ask as much as a child asks for a toy in Target. But I never ask you to know who I am or how to reach me. I never even taken an Uber, so order and eat. Please leave me be. Two and a half years ago, my youngest offspring in an attempt at independence decided to try to get a ride from a vehicle in your fleet. At that time, she was under 18 and so proceeded to sign up under my name because I am way over 18. I was vaguely aware of what she was up to, but I was attempting to be a parent who lets her little birdie fly. I told her she could take the bus or a cab or sign up for rideshare, fully expecting her to choose public pro transportation. Surprisingly, she opened an Uber account and in her haste, she chose a driver account, apparently. Once she realized her error, we guff guffawed mightily as I'm no fan of driving and she deleted it. She thought, I thought, but weekly, sometimes more, I still get a text or an email trying to entice me to join your driving empire and the hourly amount I may I might earn is always included. Important might is different from will earn, my anonymous Uber admirer. It wouldn't matter what amount you put. I'm in no way uh, anyone that could ever drive anyone anywhere. I would earn no stars. I would make no passenger pleased. My car is typically a mess. My ability to parallel park is weak. And I would personally choose walking over driving in any day. Uh, but I see what you are trying to do here, Uber. You will not wear me down and you cannot pretend to pay me in your ranks. Keep asking for whatever final steps you say I need to complete my registration. The information shall never be added. Note that I have unsubscribed. I've marked the emails as spam. I've blocked the number on my phone. But Uber messages find a way. Your insistence is, is unrelenting and I would say desperate and thoroughly amusing. Your presence in my life has outlasted real jobs in my past. This potential open-ended proposition is apparently without end. As my inbox fills with the sales on tunics, age cream offers and hot flash remedies, you don't care that others have stopped capitalistically courting me. You want me badly, I know. Every time Uber rides into my text, I yell to my kid. She groans and tells me to ignore it. I tell her I have tried. Oh, I have tried, but you will not be ignored. I guess it's okay. Women in my demographic are largely ignored. I know Uber doesn't care about any of that. You still see my potential to drive. Your profits put wear and tear on my own car and swell your ranks. Not my true gifts and talents. Complaining about you is now one of them. But believe me, driving is not. You got to let me go, Uber. We can never be. Pretty cool little piece I wanted to share with you. Have a great day.